Hello and welcome back to another video. So this has been my longest break probably from YouTube since I started. It's been about 15 days since I uploaded and I wanted to make this desk setup video as well as give you guys a couple updates about the channel but that won't take too long. Just know that I have a lot of content in the works regarding the PC you see back here. We'll still be doing some of the console videos, and I believe I have a decent amount of smartphone videos coming out too. I actually do have a new daily driver smartphone that I'm testing out for you guys, and I'm excited to show you. You'll probably see it pretty soon. But either way, let's get into this desk setup, and I guess I'll start with the chair, and then I'll show you guys closely more of the other stuff. So this chair just came from Staples. It's pretty cheap overall. It's not as expensive as a gaming chair, and I find it really comfortable, especially for my kind of workflow of, you know, video editing, gaming, and school. I do want to mention that everything you see in this video will have a link down below for the latest price. Okay, so I first do want to talk a little bit about the computer here. We're not going to do much because this is getting its own full video. However, this is a Ryzen 5900X with a RTX 3080. I built this as an editing and gaming device and you're going to see a video directly related to it, but it runs really well. It's the power station of this entire desk, and I really have liked it so far. Now, I wanna say before I get into looking through this, do not mind this cable management down here. I will work on it, I promise. It should be resolved semi-soon. <laughs> Next, we'll talk about my main monitor here, which is the LG Ultra Gear 27 inch. It has G-Sync, it has 144 Hertz, and it is a 1440p panel. What I also really like about it is that it's very color accurate. It uses 135% of the sRGB space, as well as 96% of Adobe RGB. For gaming, it really has been awesome, especially being able to utilize the 3080 with 1440p. And then as a secondary monitor that I also use for my PlayStation sometimes, we have the MSI Optics G242. It also has G-Sync, it's 144 Hz, it's pretty color accurate itself for the most part. It is, however, 1080p rather than 1440p, which works perfectly fine for my PlayStation because PlayStation doesn't have 1440p support anyway. But I also use it as a secondary monitor if I need to, and I think it's a pretty solid monitor overall, especially at the price. If you're like me and you built a computer, you might not have speakers. So what I did here was I got the Logitech Z313 speakers. It comes with a subwoofer as well. It's really cheap. I think I got it for like 25 bucks on Best Buy. It might have been on sale at that point. Those are really nice. They make good sound. I can give you a sample. So there's just a little sample for you guys to hear. They're really good, especially for the price. We'll show you guys everything in this area right here. So this is a Corsair mouse I've had for a while. I will be upgrading it, but it was really cheap. It came at Best Buy. It does the job fine. It's not as optimal for gaming. But what it's really nice for is video editing because this is a Bluetooth keyboard. It is the Microsoft Surface keyboard. It reminds me a lot of the Apple keyboard and I really like the number pad. But why I like it more than the Apple Magic keyboard is because on the back here, it does have a slight incline and the incline is very useful in typing. It just feels more ergonomic because of that. The key switches are not mechanical, they're chiclet style, but I still like them a lot. It's very comfortable to type for long periods of time. I've used this for a while. I've typed a lot of school documents on it. I think it's a pretty good keyboard overall, but it is pretty expensive. And then for the trackpad, we are supporting Linus Tech Tips here. I've watched a lot of Linus's videos over the years, but that's probably not why I got the mouse pad. I think the mouse pad looks excellent. It's their Northern Lights one, and it just feels high quality. And really for me, it just looks good in my setup, I believe, but let me know what you think. 
Overall, I think it was worth the money spent. Finally, in that kind of area, we have my controller that I use for many of my games. I use the Xbox Series controller. I love the color combination. It kind of matches the blue of my channel, and they're really nice. I prefer the offset sticks to Sony controllers, although I'm a big fan of the DualSense controller. So I want to show you guys this. Now, this comes from Pataka. It is the Air Omni Light, I believe, and I've been using this for a few days towards my bedside more, but I think I'm going to put it on here because it matches really well with the desk I think. This thing overall is very feature rich. It's very high quality in build. I've really enjoyed using it. So if you have multiple products, especially Apple ones, you put your Apple Watch there. Back here you can put your iPad. If it's the iPad Pro you keep the USB type C. But if it is not then you switch it to Lightning. And there's a storage component here. Also you have a USB type C and USB type A if you want to put wired chargers on the end so this is like all you need to charge like most of your devices your airpods can wirelessly charge here your iphone can wirelessly charge here i think it's just excellent it only does need its charger which goes in right there and really if you're looking for something to charge a bunch of your products with only wanting to use one outlet then this is a good option so that's mainly my desk setup the desk itself came from wayfair it's very big and it can fit everything i need on it which is exactly what i wanted but thanks for watching this i hope you enjoyed and i promise the videos will be coming soon